Welcome back to Nuance of Neurons. Today, we dive into a fascinating realm that we all experience, yet understand little about time. Think about how you perceive time as a ticking clock, moving forward second by second. But is time really linear? This linear perception of time, where the past is behind us and the future ahead, is ingrained into our everyday language and thought. But could it be just a cognitive contrivance? After all, time isn't something we see or touch. It's something we have conceptualized to make sense of our world. But what if one told you that this impression of time may not be the ultimate reality, but a fabric woven from our human limitations? Eminent physicists and psychologists have proposed fascinating theories that beg to differ with the way we perceive time. Some theories suggest that all moments in time, past, present, and future, could exist simultaneously. This theory, known as eternalism, challenges our commonsensical, linear understanding of time. In this framework, the flow of time is merely an illusion crafted by our brains. Another line of thought delves into the realm of non-linear time, where the future can affect the past, creating a universe of constant feedback. This may all sound wildly incongruent with our daily experience, but let's pause for a moment and ponder. Doesn't the chaos theory underline that a small perturbation could have massive unforeseen consequences? Isn't it thematically similar? Envisaging a universe where each moment influences every other in a complex web of relations? And if the universe does run on this intricate loop of feedback, wouldn't our linear perception of time seem rather simplistic? Just like the Flatlander who can only perceive a 2D slice of a 3D object, are we? Time-bound creatures experiencing a four-dimensional reality in slices we perceive as the present. Embarking on this trans-dimensional voyage has incontrovertibly complicated our understanding of time. But let's take a step back and examine why we perceive time the way we do. Our perception of time arises from natural evolutionary adaptations, essential for human survival and interaction with the environment. For instance, the circadian rhythm, our biological clock, is pivotal in regulating our sleep and hunger cycles. Imagine if this rhythm ran in a non-linear fashion, weavers weaving in the morning, birds singing at midnight, humans having breakfast at sundown. Our brain uses sequences, rhythms, and patterns to construct a coherent narrative of events. Think about how a melody relies on precise timing between notes to make sense. Just like the temporal sequence in a melody, our memory constructs narratives from a series of events. Hence, our brain provides us with a linear and ordered model of experience for operative efficiency. So if our perception of time is simply a cognitive construct for operational efficiency, does it mean that time as we perceive it, doesn't really exist. Theorists from both physics and philosophy have grappled with this puzzling question. Many purport that time may not exist at all, at least not as we understand it. This leads us to the B theory of time, which argues that the past, present, and future are equally real, and that time doesn't flow. We merely perceive it that way. In truth, they maintain that everything just simply is, a static block universe where past, present, and future coexist. While these models can feel unsettling or alien to our everyday practical reality, they open up a fascinating avenue of thought. It's astounding to think that what we perceive as reality might just be a tiny fragment of the whole cosmic drama. We are mere voyagers cruising through time, catching brief glimpses of the infinite cosmic symphony. Remember, the perceptions we hold are just that, perceptions. They are not necessarily reflections of objective reality. Remember the common saying, time heals all wounds. Even in our language, we encapsulate the idea of time as a transformative agent. It's fascinating how we link notions of change and evolution with time. But perhaps it's not time that changes things, but the causal sequence of events. Time merely provides a framework of reference. The universe doesn't run on our clock. It operates in its own mechanisms, unaware and unadjusted to our human constructs. It doesn't mean we scrap our wall-climbing clocks and watches just yet. These tools are practical necessities for human society to function effectively. But when it comes to cosmic mysteries, human constructs might not sufficiently encapsulate the enigmatic nature of our universe. So, it's crucial to step beyond these practical limits when probing into these fundamental questions and exploring concepts that might seem paradoxical within our experiential framework. 
It's what makes our journey into the realm of knowledge and understanding thrilling and full of mind-blowing concepts. In the end, whether time is linear or not, we're still a part of this magnificent cosmic symphony, playing our fleeting tunes on the stage of existence. Even if time as we perceive it isn't the ultimate reality, it's still our reality. And that's a beautiful thing in itself, don't you think? Thank you for joining us in exploring these enthralling concepts. Join us in the next episode as we dive into other intriguing realms of reality. If you find these topics stimulating, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Nuance of Neurons. Remember, your reality is the greatest journey of all.